Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2019, slot 1 DILR says that a supermarket has a place for 12 items A to L on shelves numbered 1 to 16. So there are 16 shelves and you need to place 12 items. So 4 will be obviously vacant. 5 of these items are types of biscuits, 3 are candies and the rest are types of savouries. So 4 savouries. Only one item can be kept on a shelf. Items are to be placed such that all items of the same kind are clustered together with no empty space between the items of the same type and at least one space empty shelf between two different kinds of items. So let us say we are putting the biscuits first. So all these biscuits B1, B2, B3 will be together and then there will be minimum one gap. It can be more than one also. Then let's say we have uh, these uh, candies and so on. Okay, so this is how we need to place these items. Now we are given some information and based on this we need to answer these questions. So we will have to make a shelf diagram like we will have to make numbering from 1 to 16. Let us look at the information which is directly given. Let's say if you see shelf number 16 is given to us that K is to be placed on shelf number 16. So this is a certain thing. Okay. Now we will look at some other information and uh, fill it. A and B are to be placed on consecutive numbered shelves in increasing order. So that means A and B will be of same type. So A and B in increasing order. I and J are to be kept in consecutively numbered shelves, both higher number than the shelves in which A and B are kept. So, I and J in consecutively numbered shelves. Now, pay attention to the previous one. It said increasing order. It does not mention any order. So, we can have I and J or J and I. So, both things are possible. Okay, but they have to be after A, B. So, somewhere after them, we will have this order. D, E and F are savories and are need to be placed on consecutively numbered shelves in increasing order after all the biscuits and candies. So that means savories come in the end. So we said that biscuits, candies and savories. Savories will come in the end and D, E, F are savories and will come in uh, consecutively numbered shelves. Now when we say that these three come in consecutively numbered shelves, and there are four savouries. So that means last four are savouries. Okay. So D, E, F will come together in 13, 14 and 15. So this part is done. Now biscuits will come before them and candies will also come before them. L and J are items of the same type while H is an item of a different type. So we have five biscuits. We will find these names and uh, three candies. We will find these names. So L and J are of same type. H is of different type. Similarly, A and B will be of same type. Right. So we will club this. What are the things of same type? A, B of same type. We have I, J of same type. We have uh, L, J of same type. So that means I, J and L, these three things are of same type. Okay. And uh, we have uh, H is a different type than I and J. It can be it has to be this or A, B can be this type also. We, we are not sure till now. C is a candy and has to be placed on a shelf preceded by two empty shelves. So C is a candy and it should have two empty shelves before it. Okay, so C is one of the candies. Now we know that I, J, L cannot be candies because if we I, J, L, L were candies, we would have a uh, total of four candies. So, I, J, L are biscuits. Now, A and B are of same type uh, and H is of different type. So, H is a different type than L and J. So, that means H will be a candy. Okay. If H is a candy, we cannot have A and B as candies because it will make four. So, A and B are also candies. So, now one item is remaining. That is, uh, we will figure it out. A, B, C, D. Uh, is filled E, F, G. G is remaining. So the third candy will be G. Okay. So these are the 
biscuits, the candies, and we need to arrange them. Now, candy sees a candy and on a shelf preceded by two empty shelves. So, two candies and then two spaces and then C will be placed. That is one of the information. And uh, we have A, B are placed on consecutively numbered shelves. So, from this, we get the order of biscuits also. Now, it says L is to be placed on a shelf preceded by exactly one empty shelf. So, L is the first biscuit because it has to precede by exactly one empty shelf. So, now we can start with, see, last is savouries. We can have biscuits first and candies second or we can have candies first and biscuits next. So, let us make both the cases and see how we get the arrangement. So, if we put the biscuits first, the first biscuit is L and it is preceded by exactly one empty shelf. So, this is L. Then we have A, B, I, J. We are given that A, B come first from second point. So, A, B will come here and I, J can come in these two in any order. Now, we will leave two spaces because C is placed by two empty shelves. So, leave two spaces. This is C. H and G. Now, we are not given any information about H and G. So, we can have H and G like this. Then, if we talk about uh, the second possibility, so we will leave two spaces and C, H and G will come in this order, in any order. Then we will leave one space before L. So, L comes here, A and B, then I and J in any order. And then vacant space and then D, E, F, K. So, these are the two ways of arranging the items. Okay. Now, we can answer these questions. In how many different ways can the items be arranged on these shelves? Now, we generally have the habit of making that this is case 1, this is case 2. So, there are two ways. Now, that is absolutely wrong. See, understand that within this case, we have four possible, four combinations, I and J, two combinations and H and G, two combinations. So, two into two, four combinations here and similarly, four combinations here. So, there are total of eight ways of arranging the items. Which of the following items is not a type of biscuit? Okay, so we have uh, biscuits as L, A, B, I, J. Okay, so uh, L, A, B are biscuits. G is not a type of biscuit. Which of the following can represent the number of empty shells in a possible arrangement? So, empty shells are either 1, 2, 6, 12 or 1, 7, 8, 12. Among these, we are given 1, 2, 6, 12 as an option. Which of the following statements is necessarily true? There are two empty shells between the biscuits and the candies. Okay. So, we have uh, like in this case, we have the candies first and the biscuits and the uh, savouries. In this case, we have biscuits first, candies and savouries. Now, two empty shells between biscuits and candies. So, here we have only one empty shelf. Here we have two empty shelves. So, it is not, it is saying necessarily true. It is not necessarily true. All candies are kept before biscuits. So, these two we can say that these are not true because we have two possible cases. There are at least four shelves between B and C. Okay, so let us see if there are four shelves. Yes, one, two, three, four, five in this case. And in this case, one, two, three, and four. So there are at least four shelves between B and C. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.